Dave Cox still occasionally sketches, but not as frequently as he used to. All the way through public school and high school, everyone had expected me to become an artist. Well, I lived up to those expectations. I worked at the paper mill for a couple of years and realized how much work it was to be an artist. I moved on to Sheridan College after that. I was accepted over 120 people on the waiting list and got in right away and I did really well at Sheridan. And the moment that I got out, I had a job. Dave jumped into the sea of the animation business and quickly learned it was sink or swim. I did it and got really bowled under by this uh, amount of work that I had to do and I had three people working with me. I had to keep them busy and I had to be the one that knew everything. So I learned in a hurry. We went on to be um, to do a film called Symbiosis which won the International Animation Festival in Ottawa and that just changed my life. That was amazing because I started getting better jobs. <laughs> One of the offers led Dave and his wife Dale to one of their biggest jobs. We were offered a position as animation directors in Japan, working on Inspector Gadget, and we thought that was a great challenge. Dale had been at Naldana for four or five years and had built a terrific reputation. They kept her for 36 years, so I guess she was pretty good. <laughs> Dave and Dale met at Sheridan College. They both shared a love for animation and eventually each other. We love being together. We always get along very well. Dave does a lot of talking and joking and uh, I do a lot of correcting and <laughs> no, stuff like that. No. <laughs> Dale's pursuit of animation was almost predetermined by her mother's love for superheroes. My mother named me after a comic book character called Dale Arden from the Flash Gordon series. She really liked her, so that's how I got my name. Her brother, my uncle, was the artist, though, in the family. So um, I guess I f just liked to draw when I was a kid and looked up to my uncle because he was making a living doing art. And that's how I got into it. So um, yeah, when the opportunity came to go to Sheridan, that's what I did. <laughs> In the 26th century, mankind faces an epic struggle for survival. Dale also worked on various cartoons like Care Bears, Rupert, and a sci-fi cult classic, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Well, I remember the artwork being so complex and realistic and so many colors to paint and uh, realistic animation is very hard to do. So it was very, very tedious and time consuming for the artists involved. But it's a beautiful, beautiful series. While Dale was hard at work, Dave also spent countless hours on other projects that eventually won him multiple Emmys. The Emmy was for Beetlejuice, but it was nice. I mean, that's, it, it gives you something to talk about, right? Didn't make the work any easier. <laughs> it didn't, actually, it, maybe it made it harder because then you had to live up to that in the future. I did a few weekends and it ended up being about 70 weekends. So I was so tired. I went to the director and I said, look, you know, I've done all this work for you. Don't remember that I want to stop doing it. Remember all the stuff I did for you because 70 weekends was 70 episodes of Broly Poly Oli. The Georgetown native was even hired for the original Star Wars cartoon series. They asked me to do the pilot that would get the series or not get the series. So when it came down to doing a one minute pilot, I only had a week and I worked, I never worked that hard, never worked because I had to direct too so I had to end up being in there but I also had to spend all this time, one scene in that is a long, it took me 33 hours to animate. A new era of animation was rising and the business became even more challenging. The business was changing in such a way that uh, it wasn't so much like the old animation days and I don't know that I was prepared to go into three-dimensional animation. That's a big learning curve and I just felt like it was not something I wanted to spend years doing. So um, things were changing a bit and it was just a good time for me to get out. The 69-year-old battled his own challenges as well. I all of a sudden found out that I had diabetes 
and I couldn't see well enough, and I, I had to keep my feet up, and I couldn't do that and sit and work. So I, I reluctantly I went into uh, retirement. That was a sad day. I couldn't believe it. I thought I'd work till I died. I really did. Looking back at his career, the award-winning cartoonist doesn't think about the praise he received for his work, but the people he worked with. You know what? I don't remember the films as much as I remember the people that we got to work with. We had some amazing, amazing people. I mean, these are distant, you know. I was always working on the project I was working on, and it was nice if something won an award and if that we had done before, but it really it didn't mean much to us because we were so involved in what we were working on at that time. After decades of hard work in the animation business, the cartoony couple spend their days collecting art and supporting various local charities. Yeah, we've been fairly involved in charity. I've done a whole bunch of buttons for different charities, like Light Up the Hills and um, just looking around here, and uh, local, the town hall here in the Glen, and, and um, the uh, Dominion Gardens, and just to help them make some money. Dave continues his battle with diabetes, but that doesn't stop him from having a positive outlook on life. My eyes are better now, and I can, with glasses I can sit down and try and, and, and draw. You know what? Everything's changed. I, it's kind of miraculous to me. I never thought that you could come back from it. For Halton Insider, I'm Hayden Ryan.